So apparently the mechanic shop that I applied to with my other video, uh, apparently they didn't like the way I explained how an engine worked, even though I, I completely explained everything fine. So I'm gonna try my other skill, which is cooking, and we are gonna try it in this fabulous kitchen. We are gonna be cooking some cupcakes, I believe. I'm not sure, didn't really read this, uh, in the ingredients or the instructions here. We're just gonna wing it with a little bit of this, because why not add some flair to it, because I'm already a master of this. So let's begin. Alrighty, so let's get on with the preparations of the food. So we have all the ingredients right here, and we have this amazing uh, little slip of paper with our ingredients on it. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with three cups of flour. So we have our flour right here, and we have one cup. Obviously it has no cup in there, so we're gonna just do one, that's half. This is hard to do, it's spilling everywhere. Probably just gonna do this. Look at all that, eh? That's beautiful. Top it up. All right, so we have one cup, and we have a big mixing bowl right here, which is good. We're just gonna dump that in. We're gonna dump another one in. Put all this in. Very narrow bowl. go. That's perfect, just like that. I think for the next one we're going to just dump it in. Like so, because you have to be fashion efficient, right? So you just got to like that. And I'm missing I'm all over the place. I think that's good enough. Alrighty, and then the last one we just stick in there. So, next off, it calls for three cups of brown sugar. We have our brown sugar right here. It says Nest Tea on it for some reason. False advertisement, I'm guessing. So it says two cups of brown sugar. So we grab our cup again. And you know what? I'm probably just gonna estimate it by what I think it is. So we're just gonna dump it in. That's probably good. We have our ethnic sugars in there, trying not to get canceled. We're gonna put in some very black cocoa powder. Like, this is like very black. Um, so we're gonna do one and a half cup of cocoa. Um, I actually kind of wonder what it tastes like, to be quite honest. It tastes like black sand. <coughs> this is about one and a half. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So this is what we have so far. We got the cocoa powder the really black sand, and then we have the ethnic sugar with the flour at the bottom. So, now that we have that out of the way, it calls for one tablespoon of salt. So basically, one tablespoon, I think we're just gonna dump this all in. Oh my goodness, you got two cups of water. Here's one. Tap water so you know you're in the best possible stuff in the government is tracking you. I'm really enjoying this kitchen. Let's switch it around, get most of those molecules out. There you go. That's really good. And then you know we just dump her in. And then we stick another one. Sin. Alrighty, so next up on the list it says three slash four cup veg vegetable oil. Um, now that I'm realizing we don't actually have vegetable oil out, so let's go over to this handy dandy little cupboard thing of the vegetable oil. And so what I really, really love about this uh, kitchen is that it has everything that you possibly need in it. So we're just gonna use this a little bit. We're just gonna dump it in. That's probably good enough, I don't know. I'm not good at maths. <laughs> Two TBSP of vinegar. And we have our vinegar right here. Another measuring tip, tablespoon. There's a table right over there. What do you use to scoop soup with? A spoon. <laughs> tablespoon. Um, I've actually had tips, a lot of people telling me to use stuff like, um, uh, like even this kitchen doesn't even have it. That's great. It has everything that you possibly need in it. All right, so we're gonna use two tablespoons of vinegar. So we're just gonna pour this in. Just 
just going to keep pouring it in. That's probably good. Alrighty. <clears throat> Two TSB teaspoons. Big, big difference. Uh, teaspoons, actually, are the bigger ones for these guys. Okay, so two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. So we're going to grab our vanilla, and we're going to just do two teaspoons of it. Oh, yeah, right there. All right, now that we have those, that teaspoon out of the way, just up here, it says mix together now. So the fun starts begin. Let's, my producer is telling me to wash my hands for some reason. It's very important in kitchen needs that you always, always, always wash your hands. Two types of soap. What are you trying to tell me? All right, so now we got that stuff out of the way, we have two choices to mix it. We can either use this one or we can use our hands. Me, I like to use my hands a lot, various ways. Now that we have that out of the way, we actually forgot to add two major important aspects of it, which is baking soda. And it calls for two teaspoons, so the big one, Good. Alrighty, now the next key aspect that we need is the chocolate chip. So we're gonna grab this. We're just gonna pour a bunch of them in there. That's probably good enough, all right? So now the chocolate chips are out of the way. Camera four, painted at me. That it, that's it. Uh, now we get to just stir it with a spoon. So I honestly just love cooking. Honestly, it just, it really soothes me. Um, it just kind of soothes my soul. Um, Alrighty, next off, we have the pan. We have our trusty little pan right here. And if you just watch me, camera, pour this in, pour this delectable juiciness in. And that is in the thing. Alrighty, so now that we have our, our stuff in, if you want to take a zoom at it, you can check out all the deliciousness we have. We've got all the chocolate chips in it. So beautiful. And this is also just, a, this is a good ethnic cooking experience because clearly it's black. Alrighty, now that we got this cake done, we are going to put it in the oven. So, are these pans even meant to go in the oven? Now we just leave it for a bit. Excuse me. Keep the camera pulling at me, okay? Don't worry about the oven. Um, so now that we're waiting for that to go, let's start by cleaning this up. We're probably gonna do this off camera, so we're gonna do a little jump cut of us cleaning it up. So, this is the mess before, and Alrighty, so now that we have the kitchen all cleaned up, the stuff is ready to be taken out of the oven, so let's come with me. There we go. Would you look at that? Grab some oven mitts, and we got ourselves some delicious cake for dessert. Might be a little bit runny here and there, but that should be okay. That's beautiful. We created this together. We created this together, like a mother and a father creating a baby. We did that together. So let's just cut this. It's just a little bit runny. It's not too bad though. Yeah, Kelly has no idea what he's doing. All right, I have no idea what the f this is, so let's just give it a go. Marshmallow and everything. This is sewage water, honestly. Oh, that is so gross. Look at this. Shit. Look at it. In this case, this is how we solve racism. <laughs>